What's up everybody? In my possession I have the Nexus 7. This is a 2013 model. So my son's been using it for the past couple of years and recently he discovered how to uh, make videos and he's been recording and sometimes he leaves it on recording for maybe about 10 minutes non-stop and I notice that it starts to overheat. It looks like when it gets too hot the OS freezes and you have to like you know press and hold the power button in order to force shut down and then restart it again so the goal for today is to try to cool this tablet down but before we cool it down let's get some uh, baseline numbers so we will be using CPU monitor to monitor the temperature of the CPU and then we'll run Geekbench 4 as well as Antutu benchmark afterwards and we'll track and notice the peaks of the temperatures of the CPU as it's running these processes ambient temperature in this room is 75 degrees okay let's run Geekbench 4 run CPU and we're gonna have it open like this It is completed. I saw it reach a peak of a 68 degrees running the, the Geekbench 4. If you're interested, here are the scores. Now let's go ahead and run a stress test using Antutu Benchmark. Let's get this tablet open. It's actually very challenging to do it. One of the things that I did was I grabbed the card and I put it right in this seam right here, right in this gap. Okay, you heard that? Got a little tiny gap open right here. Okay. You may also want to have something soft here so that your screen doesn't scratch. crack there right there so even though I managed to remove it I cracked the case right here and then I also cracked it right here looks like we have some copper conductive tape another layer of copper here and these two touch and it's also attached to the heat spreaders right here that are right over the chips Stuck on there pretty good. Jesus, man. This, I will have to clean it. Okay, so I was able to scrape off this tape using this tool. It left some scratch marks on there. You can get some alcohol and try to remove everything. The next step is going to be to remove the heat sink. So I'm going to use a tiny screwdriver. I'm going to leave these two untouched. I'm not going to remove them. I'm not going to touch them because the chips and in the inside barely even touch the heat spreader well actually they don't they don't make contact with the heat spreader so I'm gonna use some thermal paste here and I'm gonna put some like a 
here on this purpose of this is to help it bond with this aluminum plate here the heat spreader okay and if you really want to make sure that it makes contact with it ah go ahead and remove it gently pry it gently okay it's making contact good okay I'm going to use two large metal ones, one here and one here, and that's it. That's all we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to use again some thermal paste here. Another one here. Okay, go ahead, set them in. You know, rub them in, make contact. Rub it in, make contact. I am going to get me a piece of this copper tape remember purpose of this is to hold these copper shims in there this should work you shouldn't have any issues all right let's hope for the best <sighs> all right I didn't ruin it. So this is our finished product. Let's look at uh, to see if the shims made it any thicker or so. As far as the seams, they're not bulging out or anything. Looking good. This is an after test to see if we are able to successfully decrease the temperature of the CPU.